Should I do that again? <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Hello. Is the seat taken? Girl, sit down. Oof. <laughs> Love it. Camaraderie. Women. Okay? <laughs> Women. You see that? Welcome to the okay. show. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm excited. I'm excited as well. Excited. I already told you that I'm a fan. She did. <laughs> yeah. How are you? How's your day been so far? This is the beginning of my day. Wonderful start to the day. Yeah. All right, let's get it. I'm trying to even think of where to start because um, I'm so impressed with you for so many different reasons. Mm. And I think, you know, for most people it's, oh, you know, you're 17 and you've achieved all these things at 17. But for me, I think it's one thing to have a nice voice. It's one thing to have practice performing. It's a completely different thing to enter a studio and understand your voice understand how to play with your voice, understand music, understand musicality, because I don't know how I'm hearing C finish and vision and you're telling me that you wrote it at 14. So my first question is, when is the first time you recorded music? Um, I think the first thing that made me properly record a song was like a girl child movement. It was written by one of my mom's friends. So I was supposed to just be the voice behind the girl child movement. But the first time I wrote a song completely that song has never and will never be released. But the first song that came out from me was C Finish. So, yeah. Right? Yeah. The first song I put out um, online was C Finish. I think it's crazy because you see so many artists, it takes them years to find their sound. Word. It takes them years to master their <laughs> it took voice. Me so years too. <laughs> that's why I'm saying that. To enter the studio and know what to do hmm. is still crazy. Even if it was C Finish, because I hear C Finish and I'm still gagged. Word. Me too. <laughs> me too, so, to be honest. I just think that's brilliant of you. Thank you. How would you describe growing up in Benin to someone who has never been there? It's peaceful. I know that the cliché-ness of it is like, <laughs> oh, Benin, is, it's not what people paint it to be. Mm. It's peaceful. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a small family. Community. And I yeah. would call it Tight that because community. where I was, my mom was not the only one that raised me. I had like neighbors and people that were just like, even though I was an indoor person, Benin is just such a homely place that yeah. I didn't even know I was missing out on anything. Like, I didn't think, I didn't know anything about Lagos or Abuja or any other places in Nigeria. I was just like, oh, I was born here, been here all my life. You were life content. is good. Life yeah. is okay. <laughs> Lagos is like a place where everyone's always on the go. Like, you're always like on the road. You're here, you're there, you're working. It's fast. Lagos is very fast. But like yeah. in Benin, you just like calm down. Chill. Mm. I think that's the best way to describe it. I know your mom had a store near a school called BIU. And a lot of Girl, students... where did you get your info? Oh. <laughs> that, no, that was... Whoa, okay. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Again. <That was> creepy. <laughs> Deep, go on. Anyways, yeah, my viewers are already <laughs> familiar with this, so let's not go into that. Okay. But um, I know a lot of students from there used to come into the store, and that's I like kind of heard, you know, Kendrick, trap music. <laughs> okay. So... Obviously, those students were like much older than you. So I'm like, yeah, did they used to give you any of like their drama, their school no. just? I just wonder, like, did you witness anything crazy because of how close you were to like a school? So I wasn't really actually even close to like particular people. Mm. I, even the people that introduced me to Kendrick, I wasn't like tight with them or anything. I was just like happened to be either chilling in the store or probably they're just randomly playing it. But the few people that I was close to was because my mother was like, oh, you do music? Well, my daughter sings. Like, Aww. no, because she always wanted me to be an artist, even before I wanted to be an artist. I just thought I could sing. I was like, Ugh. like, it was just one of those moments where you're like, oh, I, I could sing. A couple of people in my class can sing. Nothing special. But my mom always kind of prioritized music for me to the point where she made me believe I was supposed to be an artist even before I was convinced. So yeah. she was like, yeah, you sing, my daughter sings, like, you know, and then I'd be like, oh, hi, sir. And then they would like, you know, just talk about the knowledge of music that they had as well. And I would just tap from there. And, you know, that was basically it, to be honest. Would you say there are any differences between Amanda and King Mari? The things you're calling. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I think so. On terms of performance and on terms of like confidence, Mm. Because the people that know me from like home know that I don't like to talk like at all. I'm a very, I have like a mini library in my room right now. So I'm just like books, 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 bury myself and chill. 
everything that has to do with coming out makes me nervous. But then when it's like, oh, you have to be King Maddie now, I'm like, I'm coming on stage. And my mom's like, who's that? Because <laughs> like, I'm coming on stage and I'm jumping and I'm talking to the crowd and they're responding back. And then I'm like, okay, this is a whole like alter ego. So I think King Maddie is like a very, very confident person. That's not who I am, to mm. be honest. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of dance, I loved the dance set you did at Homecoming. Ooh, Brilliant. Thank you. Um, that's another thing. I love that you incorporate all your skills into your mm -hmm. craft. Because even the vision video with the ballet... Loved that. It was pretty. Did you enjoy ballet? Was that something you enjoyed? Yeah, I enjoyed it even way more than music at some point. Because mm. it was, it's one thing to suffer and it's one thing for your friend to suffer with you. Yes. So I, I loved it. The fact that like me and my friends would cry from back aches and like those memories from, you know, dancing in church. It was beautiful. I loved ballet. I felt like it was a huge part of who I was. I love the fact that it takes a lot of discipline yeah. and it's not something that anybody can do. So it's like... I dance ballet. It's like a bragging right, to be it honest. Is. It is. So. Do you feel like that helped with your, just now, obviously, performance, like the performance element of the job, of mm -hmm. having a music career? Mm -hmm. It did. It helped me with my confidence, because obviously I performed on stage. It helped me with my flexibility, obviously. It just, it was just like my safe place, and it still is my safe place. People. I mean, I brought Vision forward. I wasn't ready to talk about that <laughs> remix yet, but... A video. There's a lot of remixes, but when you say a remix is sublime, flawlessly executed, I, like mm -hmm. how did this feature with Chloe Bailey, how did it come about? So at the time, I don't think we were even trying to do like features for the EP because my EP was made even before I put out Ole American Love. From C Finish, I had recorded enough songs for an album and an EP already. So it's like, okay, this is out. It's doing really well. What's the next phase for us? My team, they brought up the question of like, oh, this, should we do like a feature? I'm like, hmm, what song? They're like, Vision. I'm like, I don't know if I hear anyone on it. I mean, mm. I could, I have a couple guesses, but I don't know. My team, they reached out to Chloe. Chloe's team and then they sent her the song and then she sent the verse really really quickly actually surprisingly quickly because I didn't even know all of that was going on when they sent it to me so I'm playing the song and they sent me like a file so I don't know the name I played the song and then I'm hearing Chloe's verse I'm like yeah <laughs> these people actually did this it was so sick mm. she loved the record I loved the record and I was like okay let's go like <laughs> cool you know because they were scared because Vision is my baby and the whole EP so they were like we touched this song in the wrong way. Maddie's going to be like, no, we can't put this out. But Chloe ate, Chloe delivered. Chloe was just perfect for the song. You kind of just touched on your process. So I want to talk about that. Yeah. Is it mainly freestyles? Is it mainly I have a subject matter in mind I want to discuss? I have an emotion I want to explore? Like, or is it just a combination of all those things? Like when you're looking to record music? So actually it's a combination because each and every song, as you said, they have like different reasons for it. Like See Finish was a true story for me. It was like an actual event that led into me being depressed, into me writing a song like See Finish. And then for Vision, yeah, <laughs> stuff I don't remember. This way. And I wrote about stuff <laughs> like... Vision! No! <laughs> we're, we're not going to turn around that. Gonna, we're, gonna that. Gonna that but yeah. we're going to get into it. You sound like my mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's chunky, but with my no. guess, I sound, that's what I am. But yeah, so everything most likely has like a story behind. Ole didn't have didn't have a story yeah. it was actually my producer Wade that we're just like talking about it. I did the melodies for Ole before I did the words so I'm just like da -da -na -na -na. and he's like recording I'm like okay let's put the words so I'm laughing and I'm writing the lyrics because in my mind I'm like this song is going nowhere it's not leaving the studio <laughs> but then my management hears the song and then they're like oh that's your next release I didn't even know what was going on with you that you thought you could not put out Ole because you're crazy because Ole is literally Girl, delicious music. <laughs> yes. Do you know the funny thing? Oh, I heard Ole so late. I think I heard Ole like um, November last year. It was actually Tells that played it for me. Tells was what? talking to me about you. The day I heard that song, I think oh. I played it 40 times. <laughs> because I literally, the first time I played it, I was like, why is someone thinking about stealing somebody's man? But to make me play a song about stealing somebody's man 40 times, that's how I know you finish work. Yeah. <laughs> because really and truly... Ole is just, it's, yeah. it's one of those songs that you can't hear and not be obsessed with it. Mm. So minus the lyrics, obviously, which you were apprehensive about, did you know it was special, like, when you made it? So it was fun, mm. right? And obviously, me and my producer, who is also one of my closest friends, were laughing at the lyrics. So it's not like I 
subconsciously thought like, oh, this song is so beautiful. I'm just thinking, this is so funny. This is one of our jokes that we're making in the studio. Yeah. I never meant for it to leave the studio, but my team has one of the best ears. They can hear my song. I know that. Maddie, I don't know what you're saying. This is what we're doing. Mm. So, um, you know, I sent the song to... No, I, I didn't send the song. I think my manager just called me and she was like, girl, <laughs> what's going on? Because, <laughs> like, it's so different from all the songs I had recorded at that time before Olay, because all my songs usually, they always have like a very direct message. Either I'm talking about something that has happened to me or happened to my friend. Mm. And so this one, everyone's like, Maddie, where are you going? Because <laughs> it, so, it was so different. Mm. And um, it was fun. The process was fun. We had fun making it. I didn't think that the world was going to love it. I didn't think it was going to be like one of those songs. I thought it was going to be one of those songs that we laugh about and pass, but no. It really opened doors for me, and I was just super surprised. Like I'm like, oh, okay, you know. Mm. Especially when Benson said he loved it, I was like, do you like this one? We're gonna go back to Vision when you said, he, 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 he. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, have you ever been on a date? No. Well, this yeah. one. Okay, so this, this one. one. This one. She took me on my first. This date. one. Okay, let's cheers to that. This is Zobo, by the way, guys. This is Zobo, please. <laughs> You need to drink it. That's how it chest. Oh, you know, oh, not going on I don't know. <laughs> so things. you need to learn this now. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, you were saying that you haven't drank Zobo in a while. So this is good. Obviously, mm -hmm. now you have a very busy life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for a seventeen-year-old, what do you do for fun? Wow. Mm -hmm. What's fun? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It's mm. damn. I don't like that. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's. <sighs> do you like movies? I don't even have the time to, to and then watch. when I do mm. it, it, it gets like, sometimes it gets really overwhelming because yeah. like my friends, they, they're like, Maddie, can we go to the movies tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, sure, we'll do that tomorrow. And then my team's team like, is like, oh, you have a show in Ilorin. <laughs> like, I don't think you can go for a movie tomorrow. I'm like, mm. got it. So even if I happen to find a perfect date to like go to the movies or something, it, it gets weird for everyone, to be yeah. honest, because then it's not like a simple, it's not as easy as I would Just love it to normally, be. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I don't know. I feel you. I mean, I enjoy reading books. There's, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Obviously, your phone that. name is Chimamanda, so you better enjoy reading books. <laughs> you better enjoy. I have Have you books. read any? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, what's, gonna, your, what's, your, what's your favorite Chimamanda? What's your favorite Chimamanda? Right now, I'm reading Americana. Mm, that's but a good one. I really like this thing around your neck. Mm, that was a really good one as well. I like the thing around your neck. It's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think with, with time, it will become easier to navigate your schedule or at least to figure out how to carve out time for yourself. But I never craved loneliness so much in my whole life. Mm. Like, I just want to be left alone to just, like, chill. chill and do whatever you want like, to do, essentially. Let me be you. I don't want to, like, nah. Because I, I don't have any of that anymore. There's always something, somehow, yeah. going on. So, just, like... To be left alone Fair. right now. Do you remember? Sad. It's, that it's that's not my sad. fantasy. <laughs> it's not sad. I think things are in stages. Mm -hmm. And depending on the kind of life you want to have, or depending on where you're going, trying to go in life, like basically there's just nothing without sacrifice or compromise or whatever. Um, and this is an okay time to do it because 10 years from now, you'll still be young. No, I wouldn't. You would, okay. I would be so, freaking 28. And you think that's old? That's old. When you're 28, you're going to look back at this and laugh at yourself <laughs> that you that's thought 28 was old. old. Trust me. <laughs> you're going to laugh. That's 28. That's, that's a, Trust that's me. A 10 years from now, you'll still be young. And you uh -huh. don't know. <laughs> Damn. Don't worry. When you're 28, you come and say, Chinasa, I was, I was very unserious when I said I wasn't. That. Mm. I, I think 28 is a lot. Okay. Damn. You'll get there. <laughs> I know you have a sister, mm -hmm. and I think two brothers, is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right. What was the dynamic in your house growing up? Were you mm -hmm. cl more close to any of them? Wait, was it like normal sibling, pettiness? Because I know you wrote a song about one of your brothers. One of your what? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was My info is precise. Uh, I, That's I was crazy. like, this, this boy has fizzed this girl up. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, what was the dynamic in your house like growing up? Um, I mean, last born. Yeah. So you knew that mm -hmm. <laughs> but um my brothers are way older than me so you know um my sisters like it was me then my sister so like we obviously were like the closest but even at that I was still having my maddie moments I was so like private that some people didn't even know my mom had me they were like you have another daughter because I never came out it was mm -hmm. it was a very popular case for my mom's friends to be like 
when <laughs> i feel like in terms of our relationship as siblings it was pretty good um you know everyone was just it was like benin actually makes you find out that home is home because like it's so it's so close so tight so comfortable because benin is so calm it just makes you feel like life is it's um, calm as well. Yeah. You never get to think of the... Lagos has made me know that I have a lot of work to do. Mm. Benin makes you relax. It makes yeah. you feel like, hmm, okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Lagos, there's so much oppression. There's so much <laughs> competition. There's so much in your face. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's a lot for mm. people like me that just like to be very simple. Mm. And so I feel like Benin shaped my personality. I'm just very like laid back and... It just shaped who I am, really. Yeah. So, yeah. And also my music, because majority of my genre has, like, R&B in it. Yeah. And obviously, a city where there's not, like, a lot of celebrities. Right now, a lot of us come to Benin. But, like, back then, not a lot of us used to come to Benin. So, a city where there's not a lot of celebrities, you hear a lot of foreign music. Like, it's very popular for me to hear, like, trap and 90s music. So, that was, like, the um, most of music that I heard, R&B. So kind of shaped my writing and how I listen to music and the type of songs that I write. So You're obviously very young, but what does love mean to you? What does love mean to you? For and do me, you think you've ever been in love? I have. Aww. I have. I've been in love. Aww. You say that like I it was a positive experience, which I'm happy. It is a positive yeah, experience. Okay, that's good. You know, he died for me. It was so beautiful. <laughs> you need to explain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to leave this. He season. died for me. He, he died for you. It was he on the cross, girl. Okay, this on girl. On the cross. Okay. Okay. I was in love. I, I knew this girl. No, okay. he okay. did not just do uh, that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he died for me. It was Fair. so beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. You want to drink it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, allow you. I'll let you do that one. Um, <laughs> you're not just brilliant on your own music. Mm -hmm. You're brilliant on collaborations as well. I Dalila am. is one of my favorite songs right now. Really? Hope you can see the peace inside me. It's, it's not, not because, because of you. you. <laughs> I love that song. I do. Whew. Again, <laughs> floated on that track. So just talk to me about collaborations, how you approach features, you know, in terms of deciding to do it, and also just like musically, sonically, how you want to enter it, all of this stuff. I prioritize me a lot in features. So yeah. regardless of how amazing the record is i'm like what am i gonna say on it you know mm. i'm very very picky with records my management shout out to them actually they send me a song and they're like do you want to do it so they've never put me in a position where they're like oh this is a must you have to do this track right now so they're like is this something that you're comfortable with there are songs that i'm like i love the song so much but like i don't think this is a maddie thing so you know they're like okay that's cool you know if so i get songs and i'm like can i can i sing on this is this going to be something that I could do like a Maddie thing on? So mm. I'm like, okay, it's comfortable. I can do this. With Dalila, the first thing that enticed me about Dalila was like, Simi was going to be on it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll drop my verse. But then, I, uh, yeah, I heard the song itself and I was like, who's this? Mm. And then they're like, oh, it's this Ugandan artist that is so incredibly talented. And I'm just, whoa. So I heard the song. I'm like, okay, I could definitely do this. Went to the studio. And then I actually wrote two verses for the song. I wrote. My, of course you did. I did. For me, collaborations are just like, can I do me on it? If I can't do me on it, I mean, I'll just love the song, but I don't think I can. I can be on it. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of collaborations, mm -hmm. just collaborated with Joe Boy Pondek on Adenuga, and the video you guys are giving us some acting, some acting chops. So <laughs> should you expect acting? For you? Is that something you would like to explore, like in the oh, future? Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. obviously, aside from like music i like to write movie scripts on my own i write Same. everything writable she's a literal prodigy just down <laughs> but yeah Thank you. i like to write everything writable poetry scripts movies books so i don't know if acting but like directing for sure mm. at some point maybe acting i don't know mm. mm -hmm. just such a beautiful time for female music in nigeria mm -hmm. you are signed to columbia records which, so early in your journey, that is crazy. Do you remember where you were when you heard the news? And do you remember what your immediate reaction was? When was that? Oh, yeah, I, was, I think I was home. And I just got a text message from the vice president of Colombia. His name is Mr. She Boom. got a text message from the vice <laughs> president of Colombia <laughs> Records. Okay. His name is Mr. Boo. Uh, he texted me. He's like, hey. 
So at the time, I'm like, verified account. I don't know who you are, but yeah, hi. So I'm just like responding, because at that point, I was very proud and arrogant, because like, the way my song had a thousand streams. That's a lot for me. <laughs> I never had that before. So I'm just like, I had a lot of DMs at the time. So I was just like, hmm, okay. He's like, hi. So as I'm texting this man, he's asking questions about like my journey. And I'm like, hold up, let me go check who's actually talking to me. Because I didn't even check who was talking to me. I was like, no. <laughs> so at that point, I'm just filled with so much emotions. I'm like, no way. And then I'm asking more seriously. Like I'm not even getting, I'm just texting him. And it's like, oh, okay. As soon as he asked me the question, he was like, okay. So I'm like, what does okay even mean? Tell me what you want. Because I'm just very like confused. I'm like, did I just, did he, did, what's going on? Then he's just like, he's like, okay. And then um, I sent like the text to my manager at the time. I'm like, ma'am, did I, did I mess up? <laughs> I don't know. And then she's like, boo texted you. I'm like, yeah, that just happened. And you know, we're just shouting and everything. We're like, oh my God, yeah, yeah. I'm just so happy. But then I'm like, okay. I guess, you know, I'm just like chilling everything. And then next thing you know, he just like calls me. And he's like, oh, I just booked a flight to Nigeria. I'm coming to see you. I'm like, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, by the way, I hate planes, but I'm doing it to come see you. So I was just Aww. super excited. And, you know, he had like a dinner and everything. Went to this restaurant, sat down. He was just talking to me and giving me advices and everything like that he had to come physically and, and sign the contract. Like, he didn't want this. He wanted to meet me. He wanted to know I was on. He wanted to talk to me. And we did all of that. I was just super excited. The whole process, I was with my mom, my dad, my siblings. Everyone was there. So it was just, it was a beautiful moment. And it felt like the start of my journey, really. Do you remember hearing yourself on radio for the first time? Um, I went to the supermarket and my song was playing. It was Sea Finish. They were playing the sped up version. And they just kept playing it back to back. So obviously, like, I think I was like, oh, it's my song. OK, so I'm going to pay for my stuff. And I'm like, here, here's my card. And then the lady's looking at me like, what's wrong with this one? Because obviously, <laughs> I'm like, notice that I'm the one thing. <laughs> so I'm trying to make her like, it's my song. So she's like, oh, OK, that's nice. <laughs> so she's not even like interested at all but yeah. that was like way in the back but that was, I feel like that was my first reaction I was super proud I'd never heard myself and you know I recently started like putting on you know my radio and everything and I heard American Love and I was like oh that's so cool okay <laughs> but there, the supermarket one was definitely like the moment where I was like no way American Love that's your latest release this year so mm -hmm. what's the difference between American Love and Nigerian Love Amanda <laughs> Because I haven't had any. I you haven't had know. any. So you just entered the studio. I'm and just like, just, well, let's talk. Let's, let's talk let's about say it. A bunch but of I words. mentioned both of them in the song. So. I know you did. That's why I was like, what's the difference? I I will give you. You give me a love. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I could give. Okay. Mm -hmm. Complete the sentence. Dating me is like. Is like. Mm -hmm. Chasing your shadow. Chasing your shadow. Because you're never going to get it. <laughs> hey, not. Jesus Christ. Speaking of chasing shadows, that's how it feels trying to get some of you to subscribe to this channel. And you know what? Okay, keep doing you. Today, I want to talk about something different, which is why liking videos is important. So guys, when you like a video, it actually increases the likelihood that YouTube will recommend the video to someone else just like you, who will probably love ITST. So all you're helping us do is grow this wonderful community. Again, help us to help you. We want to do more. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like it. And for those of you that are still doing Shakarabi subscription, it is God that will arrest you. Anyways, back to Amanda. I feel like I'm, I'm too everywhere. Mm. Like I'm literally always working to calm down and be like, damn. I need to give love. No, I don't think I have like that right now. In You're me. not like, Yeah, mm. there's too much work to be done. What okay. is the dream for you? Let's talk the ideal, you know, outcome out of all of this for mm. you. I've always like prioritized comfort, and that's why like I dress baggy most of the times. This is not inclusive, but most of the times when you catch me, I'm like dressing comfortably. I just want to be comfortable. I'm wearing baggy trousers. As I said, it's tight top, big jeans. <laughs> So, definitely. But comfort for me has been a priority. Yeah. And I mean, it might be expensive comfort, but like, I just want to be able to not think about, like, worry about stuff. And I feel like that's my goal. 
on terms of my personal selfish needs, but like in terms of my music and my passion, my career, I feel like I'm just being able to make things look possible because they already are possible, but a lot mm -hmm. of people don't see that they are. So exactly. I'm just trying to like, it is, it's doable. Like you can do some, I feel like that's one of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. So. Yeah. And you're already doing that by existing. You're yeah, already showing people that definitely. it's possible. So go check one of your favorite mm -hmm. songs of mine. It's called Journey. I actually wrote Journey because of the late Diamond. No bad, no bad. Year, yeah. Piece, yeah. So I wrote it because of him. And at the time, I hadn't like, unfortunately, I entered the industry super early. So I didn't like get the time to meet him or be in the same room with him. I'd only heard his music. So at the time with the news, I'm like, whoa. So I feel like, I don't know, it affected me so much in my thinking. I'm like, I've never written a song like this. Because usually moments around me affect like how I write. So I'm like, I go to the studio with my friend, the same person that I made Ole and Vision with. And I'm like, okay, what are we doing? So he's, he notices that I start writing in a dark way. And he's like, I got you. So he's just playing the guitar and he's going that way as well. And I'm writing, and then I just like, okay, I'm just gonna put it as content. I didn't wanna put it out as a song. That's why I made a whole viral video, because I'm like, that's all it's gonna be. I don't wanna, I don't want people to stream this. I just want to know that, you know, this is how I feel about everything that's going on as a way of expressing myself. And when I put it out, people were like, when is the song dropping? I'm like, did you not read the caption? It's not coming out. Like, that's literally the plan. I want you guys to know that this is how I feel about everything, and this is how I feel about life as a journey and as an artist. And you know, out of popular demands, other people put my song out. Is it a management? I call it other people. It's no, it's no management, it's other people. <laughs> they put the song out and I was like, uh-uh. This is like, they were like, we don't, that was concerning you. The song shout out, go stream guys. <laughs> to the point where I thought it was out too. And I was like, did we put this out to my sister? She's like, no, we didn't put it out. I'm like, it's out though. So it was, it was a lot, but mm. yeah. That's why I wrote Journey. This Zobo. wine. <laughs> this Zobo is really good. They were not thinking about playing with them. Got the camera, got the camera. Which wine, Madi? Hmm. I'm busy, Amanda. Who's I'm here? I'm sorry. Hmm. She said, who's here? Because hmm. I'm... Um... That's crazy. This Zobo is really good. Just so y'all know. Go on. Wait, so you are born in 2006? How? What you mean, how? Girl, I... No, what? Like, how? How? I don't know what you want me to say. What? Do you have a song you remember really enjoying making? Oh, American Love. Mm. Are you still learning Mandarin? You have to stop. My mom put you on it. Your mom. Not, my mom put it. I've never There's spoken no way. to your mom. That's literally what my mom would say. Are you still learning Mandarin? <laughs> that okay, is so, so well. Cool. Okay. No. <laughs> You've left that. No, I haven't left that. Lagos has, Lagos so has deprived you. Like I you. said, it's just... Mm. Every day there's something. I've never had a schedule my whole life. This yeah. is crazy. Like the fact that it's like, oh, it's Monday. What's Monday? The day that I have. It's like, nah, -uh, why? So I don't, I don't yeah. have like Maddie time. Mm. You are fluent in Spanish though. So do you want to um, just look in your close up and give us, give us a Spanish, speak some Spanish. Hola, me llamo Maddie. Puedo hablar un poco de español. Cuántas personas son tu familia? Un cuatro. Period. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. My Spanish teacher would be disappointed. <laughs> it's like, Please. you weren't fast enough. <laughs> You're not rapping the Spanish. Speaking of rap, I read somewhere that you have a rap are. record <laughs> that you're hiding from us. No. Where is it? was lying to you. I don't have it. The person was not lying. <laughs> the not lying. I don't. Where is the rap record coming, Manny? <laughs> I don't know. So you don't want to, you don't want to, basically, you're not ready rap to put record. it out. I could. No, I mean, deaths, deaths, there is, but like, hmm. I feel like I a lot of your influences, soon. Kendrick, Nick, hmm. you know, they are in yeah. rap. So that Kendrick. makes sense to me that, I you do, know, I do have you're one. getting there. Mm -hmm. But okay, Probably, like, we should give you some time. Give me, give me, give me a bit of breathing space for mm. now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. Girl, what? Okay. <laughs> what? We're going to go again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday? Saturday? I can just keep saying the same thing. I don't Amanda. even know. <laughs> what are we doing? Boys, they hustle. Do you know that? No. Exactly. This is what it's like to be 17, guys. <laughs> she has no <laughs> idea. Olu Maintain Yahuzi, one of the greatest Nigerian songs of all time. 
But it's good. You've learned it on the show today. It's called Yahoo Sing. It's a song. Got oh, it. Oh, there was a dance. Yahoo. Oh, I know that. Uh, you could have uh, started with the chorus. I know that. That's... I know that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's the okay, chorus, so, right? Yes, it yeah, is. That's, it is. I wasn't one of those people that just, wow, I'm going to be a singer. I wanted to be many things. It changed from time to time. I wanted to be a... What's the name of this thing? I heard this word in dictation, and I wanted to be it without knowing what it was. Wait, I'm, I'm going to Missionary? Remember. I'm going to, it's, it's a very, I don't wait, um, these people that know the weather, it's not, it's not a newscaster, I promise, wait, Jesus, it was a big word, but I love the fact that it was a big word. Is it meteorologist or something like that? No, wait, <laughs> what? I, know, I said meteorologist, no. but she said, yeah, that's a meteorologist, okay, I, that. yeah, okay. I, didn't, I didn't hear it, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay. that was the worst, I wanted to be a meteorologist or meteorologist. I didn't know what Without it was. Without even knowing what it was. I, was, I just thought it was like, a cool like word. word. It's like it's mm. big. And mm. that sounds like it. Nah, I wanted to be that. And then when I was in secondary school, I wanted to be a lawyer. Because I, I, I had that. like so many people that I disliked that I wanted to put them all in jail. Yes. So I wanted to be a lawyer. I was. I know. I was a very dark person. Please don't. <laughs> I had a face. Amanda. I had a face. <laughs> Amanda said jail for all face. my ops. I'm like, y'all wait. Jail for the ops. I will study. <laughs> I wanted to do all oh, of that. Oh, so you're a real hater. Like, I like, listen, no, I will, I'm going to go to I'm school. I'm the biggest hater, Kendrick. <laughs> oh so I'm like, I was going to be that person, but then, you know. So, but while all of those things were changing for me, my mom was just like, mm, you're going to be a singer, don't worry. <laughs> what is all that doing for you? Mm. So obviously, like, school was very important for me. Yeah. But music was way more important, I could say that. And yeah. my mom was literally, is, is literally like, the biggest influence and the biggest part of my musical journey because there are times when I'd have like exams and she'd be like, oh, I'm going to write a stuff to the principal. She has to write a makeup exam. She's sick. No, I'm going to go and perform in a freaking like talent show or some stuff. Yeah. So she was like, she was repping for me. She would take me to the choir. She just, I would perform. And I just got talent. I had this remote. I would come to her front and perform like all of Tiwa Savage's and Simi song. Just to make sure that I was good. Uh, baby. <laughs> I had the whole thing. Then I was like, I would perform everything. And then she'd be like, no, stretch your hands, stretch your hands. So we had the whole performance rehearsal. So yeah. yeah, she was basically my MD from the start till now. So did you have a favorite subject in school? Literature. I mm. loved literature. I love literature. I didn't as like well. the teacher. Ma'am, if you're watching this, I really hated you. Oh Sorry. My God. <laughs> I really did not like the teacher. I really did not. Oh God, she was like just that. an ass. Yes, you and us. <laughs> it hurt me because, like, for some reason, she thought I, I wasn't serious, but, like, it was my favorite subject in school. It was one of my reasons why I was, like, excited for literature because it's an excuse for my mom to buy new literature books. books I would finish read. it before the class even started because, yeah. like, I love books a lot. I know you went for, like, a lot of talent shows mm -hmm. as a child and kind of touched on that. And that can be, like, a weird environment. Were you having positive experiences with those? No. or? Mm. I feel like everything about them was terrible. Yeah, because, I can imagine. <laughs> like, I would get to see, I feel like so many of that my mom tried to hide from me. Shelter you because from. Because she's mm. like, I don't want you to understand how the minds of adults work when it comes to these type of things. So I would basically, like, see some type of things and I'm like, but no. And then my mom's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, that's how they roll. So mm. it just kind of taught me that, you know, you only know your heart. All right, do you want to try some of this food? I've, I've been waiting. <laughs> I'm like, are we gonna, are we gonna do it? Like, <laughs> we always thank good. you. You don't need permission to eat. I'm Trust an ugly me. eater, don't judge me. You are not an ugly do anything, judge darling. Me. A gorgeous girl. Thank you. Yes. Oh my god, this looks so What's good. What's the last thing you watched? I know you said you don't have time, but do you remember the last thing? I, you I'm watched? watching movies, I'm watching movies all the way to where I'm going to be busy. So, I think the last show I watched was Empire. Mm. I recently started watching it again, and I can tell you that show is timeless. <laughs> That's crazy. Shout out to Empire. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Again, Ashake. <laughs> Arasa. Listen, we have great food on the show. Great conversation, great food, great babe. What else can we say? Amanda, you agree with me? Okay. That's my period. <laughs> have you been able to travel? anywhere that was really exciting for you so mm -hmm. far? I mean, when I went on tour with Buju. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That Buju. was a lot. Because at some point, I didn't know what city I was in. It was like, oh, we're going to we're going to DC today. It's like, okay, cool. It's like, oh, we're going to um, 
New York tomorrow. I was like, so it was just, it was a lot because we didn't spend enough time. We spent like two, three days in one city and then the next to and move. Next. So I didn't really have to, but I had a lot of fun in Atlanta. Mm. I felt like it was a city where I had, to, like, I went bowling and went like everywhere. You're like, able to we do literally, things yeah. outside of so the job. So I felt like that was one of my favorite places at when I traveled. Already. Well, it's been lovely to talk to you. Yeah. I'm like I said, excited. rooting for you. You've done Thank amazing you. so far. There's not a song that I don't like, mm -hmm. honestly, honestly. And it's not, you can't say that for everybody. That, that's just the facts, especially for someone that is literally just starting their journey. So you're doing good. Thank you, sir. Don't sink into too much of our thinking. Just keep trusting yourself like you have so far and know that, you know, there's people behind you rooting for 100%. you. And you're already inspiring so many. Thank you. So. Thanks for coming Thank on the you show. Thank so much. I had fun being here. Now, we do this thing where you're going to give me three statements, right? Two are going to be true. One is going to be a lie. I have to figure out which is which. You know too much about that. There's a lot I Girl, would have said, but... Uh, yeah. Damn. I might still feel it. Mm. <laughs> and then I'm going to okay. ask you a question from this deck of cards. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. So that's be thinking about the statements while I'm getting the cards out. Okay. Um... Um, I think you know me. Yeah, I am. <laughs> um. Okay, so pick. But you can look at it. Oh, so you just pick it, and then I'm gonna look at that it. One. Okay, so this one. one. Yeah. Okay. Why are you? <laughs> I don't know. It's like yeah, should I? Should I like no? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we've kind of talked about something interesting already. How has your relationship with your parents impacted how you feel about yourself? I mean, evidently, it plays a strong role in my life. Yeah. And, you know, they always try to make me feel, you know, beautiful and always try to make me feel great about who I am. So, you know, they've been a strong part of my life and my supportive. journey. So, yeah, I mean, they're amazing people. They're yeah. beautiful. Already, give me my yeah. statements, Amanda. Amanda. Okay, so there are... Does anybody call you Pearl, by the way? No, nobody okay. has ever called me Pearl. Not even by accident. <laughs> <laughs> nobody has ever done Not that. Not even by accident. It's Not crazy. even by accident. Okay. Um, two truths and one lie? Yes. Or one lie and two truths? Two truths That's and one thing. lie. Okay. Two is true. One is... A lie. Okay. Cap. I have one cat. You have two. Next. I went to the same high school as Rema. Okay, I know your high school, but I don't know what school Rema went to. Okay. And I don't eat spaghetti. Girl, you <laughs> don't eat spaghetti. He hates spaghetti. And I'm the same. So, that's it. You don't eat spaghetti. I'll be on my... Is that the lie? That's the... Okay, no, you don't eat spaghetti. So, that's the truth. Yeah, you have to find the lie, okay. right? Okay. And you have two cats. One, you said you I have said one I have cat. One cat. I said and so, I that's the, the lie now, because you have two cats. You failed. I don't have a cat. What are you doing? You said you have two. Oh my God, it's not a cat. <laughs> That's why I said that. Ah! Are you watching me? <laughs> I was like, you know, too yeah, much. Like, I have mm. to, like. Mm. Okay, true, true. It was dogs, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you just you said you recently just started liking cats. Mm -hmm. Damn. How did you even know that? Damn. Well, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I do my job. You see, I don't always keep saying, wow. oh, I do my job, but wow. you know. But, well, you lost. Okay. She did. I lost. But did I? Yeah. You, Did you, I? You lost. You guys. I think cats, you, dogs. No. Potato, potato. Nah. Okay. <laughs> you Lizard. lost. Okay, Maddie. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. You're excited. welcome. After shouting that I lost 17 times. <laughs> now she's like, thank you. <laughs> she lost. But then, you know, it's, it's fair. I, w I wouldn't have gotten that either. They were pretty weird. So, anyway. See you guys next time. <laughs> when there's a less crazy person on YouTube. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I felt like she wasn't really, like, really, I don't know. I felt like she wasn't really being you know there for me. You know someone wants to lie. You know someone wants to lie. I felt like I there was. There not too many pauses. It's, it's one-sided. Somebody, I took you on your first date. I felt like oh, it, was, one -sided. it was one-sided. I felt like she was giving a off? lot because more. Because we actually realized after the episode that I actually won the two truths and the Girl, so, I don't know what you're talking something. about, but so, it was one-sided. That's what you're going to do me. No, look, look, you can't look at me, Amanda. Look at I me. I didn't think she was going to be invited to this but yeah. Huh?
It's one sided. I don't it's think one, I okay, feel from whose side? the same way that you feel about me. Girl, with your 2006 get out of my set. Oh! Get out of my oh! set. <laughs> Okay. Get out of my set. All these addictions, yeah. better sweet intuitions. Yeah. All these addictions, they look better sweet intuitions. I'm joining your shoulder, Shimmy. <laughs> Let's go.